are some of the major cases that you think we need to work on? In the case of Geronimo Pratt, Geronimo's been in prison about 20 years. And in Geronimo's case, it's ludicrous. I mean, it's absolutely ludicrous. Um, the fact that Geronimo has been in prison 20 years, seven of that 20 years was spent in, so in solitary confinement. Everything was done to break him. Everything was done to destroy him. And that there are government informers, FBI informers, who say that, that Geronimo was framed, that Geronimo uh, is innocent, that the government itself admits that all kind that number one there were uh there was a government agent in his defense team all this kind of stuff i mean so that it's just the fact that he's in prison today speaks to our duty to our absolute responsibility to struggle on behalf of political prisoners because uh, you know, I mean, his case is just so blatant, just so obvious, just, I mean, there, there are mountains and mountains and mountains of documents that prove that he was a victim of COINTELPRO, but the man is still in prison. Just, I mean, there, there are mountains and mountains and mountains of documents that prove that he was a victim of COINTELPRO, but the man is still in prison. The case of Mumia Abu-Jamal, is a case where the government is trying to kill a revolutionary, trying to literally take his life and put him into the electric chair. Um, and we cannot allow that to happen. We cannot allow that to happen because it's the case of a human being's life, a, a human being who has struggled who has uh, dedicated his life to the liberation of his people. But also we cannot allow that to happen because it will set a precedent. And if we do not struggle tooth and nail to keep the state from killing him, then we are allowing a situation to, uh, to happen where the government can accuse any of us of any crime and put us to death without uh, any mass movement, without, you know, without even having to take into consideration that there will be hell to pay if you try to kill our revolutionaries. And I think that, that that's really important because if we allow the government to kill him, we will be sentencing so many of our youth to death. Another case uh, that it is extremely important for people to rally around and support is, is the case of, of Alan Berkman. Uh, Alan Berkman uh, is only alive because he's a doctor and because he diagnosed himself and uh, insisted on a medical examination. He has Hopkins disease and his very life is being threatened by uh, the, the absolute refusal of the prison authorities and the government to provide him with adequate medical treatment. So that that is another very important case uh, for people to support. In 1988, a broad coalition of us came together to form a coalition called Freedom Now to internationalize the struggle of free political prisoners and prisoners of war. And in December of 1990, there will be a tribunal in New York City in which international jurists will come and raise the question of human rights abuses in the United States. What do you think about this? Well, I think uh, a tribunal of that sort will be very significant, uh, not only to the struggle of uh, inside the United States, but also internationally, because I think that much more needs to be known out here in the world about what is going on in the United States, because the United States government uh, always projects this image in 
throughout the world that it is a champion of human rights. And the reality of that situation is, is that the United States is the biggest violator of human rights, not only in the United States, but all over the world. If this is done, this will create a, I mean, this will be a major victory on an international level. Not only that, I think this can be the basis for more unity within the different third world and progressive organizations in the United States, which is very important because I also think that there has to be more unity between us. There's been so much disunity that was created by the United States government, okay, with these, all these programs that they created. But I think that uh, working towards the liberation of political prisoners and prisoners of war is also the basis for unity among all these organizations. And not should we be unified to only free our comrades here in jail, but we should be unified towards liberating all of our people that, with, that live in the United States also. We have a situation where there are more than a hundred political prisoners and prisoners of war, and so I think that it's really important for people to, to see that and to uh, understand that these people are in prison because they have struggled and that it is important to struggle to free them because they have given their freedom, their time, their sweat, their blood to uh, struggle for the freedom uh, of oppressed people and that as oppressed people it is our job to to struggle to support them and to struggle for their liberation. And In the last month, the government of Zimbabwe has offered political refuge status to Matulu Shakur. And then we have you and Guillermo Morales who have been given political asylum in Cuba. And recently, the Italian parliament has demanded the release and extradition of Silvio Baraldini according to a U.S.-Italian treaty. What is the significance of these international overtures? And what could be the impact in the international arena? Well, I think that what this shows is that, that you know, there are many governments especially revolutionary governments that are not duped by the posturing and the hypocritical uh, stances that the United States government is taking and has historically taken. I think that um, it's very important uh, that even a government like Italy is, has been willing to um, accept Sylvia Baraldini as a political prisoner uh, and is offering, you know, for her to go there. What is holding it up, as far as I understand, is the United States government. I think that this is very important. And I think that um, more and more, as time goes on, many more governments will be willing to uh, accept political prisoners um, and to um, take po principal positions around political prisoners. Mm -hmm.